he altruistic well wishers and constructive critics are you guys fine and dandy it's professor suresh delighted to be back on a 30 second video in process of publication on youtube today 24th of june 2020 topic for discussion today is all of us are addicts any doubts addiction is a bio psychosocial disorder that characterized by compulsively seeking to achieve desired desired effect such as intoxication despite harm and adverse consequences to self and others addictive behavior is behavior that is both rewarding and reinforcing dependence is an adaptive state associated with the withdrawal syndrome upon cessation of repeated exposure to stimulants example drug intake physical dependence is dependence that involves persistent physical somatic withdrawal symptoms example fatigue and delirium tremens psychological dependence is dependence that involves emotional motivational withdrawal symptoms example dysphonia and anhedonia drug abuse is when you use legal or illegal substances in ways you should not you might take more than the regular dose of pills or use someone else prescription you may abuse drugs to feel good ease stress or avoid reality but usually you are able to change your unhealthy habits or stop using altogether addiction is when you can't stop it not when it puts your health in danger not when it causes financial emotional and other problems for you or your loved one the urge to get, get and use drugs can fill up every minute of the day even if you want to quit your brain is wired to make you want to repeat experiences that make you feel good so you are motivated to do them again and again the drugs that may be addictive target your brain's reward system they flood your brain with a chemical called dopamine this triggers a feeling of intense pleasure so you keep taking the drug to chase that high when you use drugs for a long time it can cause changes in other brain chemical systems and circuits as well they can hurt your judgment decision making memory and ability to learn look at them these brain changes can drive you to seek out and take drugs in ways that are beyond your control each person's body and brain is different people also react differently to drugs some love the feeling the first time they try it and want more others hate it and never try again not everyone who uses drugs becomes addicted but it can happen to anyone at any age some things may raise your chances of addiction including family history your genes are responsible for about half of your odds if your parents or siblings have problems with alcohol or drugs they are more likely as well women and men are equally likely to become addicted second to early drug use children's brains are still growing and drug use can change that so taking drugs at an early stage may make you more likely to get addicted when you get older three mental disorders if you are depressed have trouble paying attention or worry constantly have a higher chance of addiction you may turn to drugs as a way to feel try to feel better fourth one trouble relationships if you grow up with family troubles and are not close to your parents or siblings it may raise your chances of addiction you may have one or more of these warning signs one an urge to use a drug every day or many times a day two you take more drugs than you want to but and for longer than you thought you would three you always have the drug with you and you buy it even if you can't afford it four you keep using drugs if it causes you trouble at work or makes you lash out at family and friends five you spend more time alone six you don't take care of yourself or care how you look you steal lie or so dangerous do dangerous things like driving while high or have unsafe sex eight you spend most of your time getting using or recovering from the effects of the drug and you feel sick when you try to quit addiction is basically a brain disorder characterized by compulsive engagement in rewarding stimuli despite adverse consequences despite the involvement of a number of psychological factors psychosocial factors a biological process one that is induced by repeated exposure to an addictive stimulus 
is a core pathology that drives the development and maintenance of an addiction, according to the brain disease model of addiction. However, many scholars who study addiction argue that brain disease model is incomplete and misleading. Addiction is a disorder of the brain's reward system which arises through transcriptional and epigenetic mechanisms and develops over time from chronically high levels of exposure to an addictive stimulus. Examples, eating food, the use of cocaine, engagement in sexual activity, participation in high thrill cultural activities such as uh, gambling, etc. Delta FOS B, a gene transcription factor, is a critical component and common factor in the development of virtually all forms of behavioral and drug addictions. Two decades of research into Delta FOS B's role in addiction have demonstrated that addiction arises and the associated compulsive behavior intensifies or attenuates along with the overexpression of delta fos b in the d1 type medium spiny neurons of the nucleus accumbens due to the casual relationship between delta fos b expression and addictions it is used preclinically as an addictive biomarker delta fos b expression in these neurons directly and positively regulates drug self administration and reward sensitization through positive reinforcement while decreasing sensitivity to aversion Addiction exacts as astoundingly high financial and human toll on individuals and society as a whole. In the United States, the total economic cost to society is greater than that of all types of diabetes and all cancers combined. These costs arise from the direct adverse effects of drugs and associated health care costs, example emergency medical services and outpatient and inpatient care, long term complications example lung cancer from smoking tobacco products, liver cirrhosis and dementia from chronic alcohol consumption and meth mouth from methamphetamine use. The loss of productivity and associated welfare costs, fatal and non-fatal accidents, example traffic collisions, suicides, homicides and incarceration among others. Classic hallmarks of addiction include impaired control over substances, or behavior, preoccupation with substances or behavior, and continued use despite consequences. Habits and patterns associated with addiction are typically characterized by immediate gratification, short-term reward, coupled with the del delayed deleterious, deleterious effects, long-term costs. Examples of drug and behavioral addictions include alcoholism, marijuana addiction, amphetamine addiction, cocaine addiction, nicotine addiction, opiate addiction, food addiction, chocolate addiction, video game addiction, gambling addiction, and sexual addiction. The term addiction is used to freak, misused frequently to refer to other compulsive behaviors or disorders, particularly dependence in news media. An important distinction between drug addiction and dependence is that drug dependence is a disorder in which cessation of drug use results in an unpleasant state of withdrawal which can lead to further drug abuse. Addiction is the compulsive use of a substance or performance of a behavior that is independent of withdrawal. Addiction can occur in the absence of dependence and dependence can occur in the absence of addiction, although the two occur together. The term addiction is misused frequently to refer to other compulsive behaviors or disorders, particularly dependence in news media, as I said before. An important distinction between drug addiction and dependence is that drug dependence is a disorder in which cessation of drug results in an unpleasant state of withdrawal which can lead to further drug use. Addiction is a compulsive use of a substance or performance of a behavior is independent of withdrawal. Addiction can occur in the absence of dependence and dependence can occur in the absence of addiction, although the two can occur together. Addiction is a process, not an event. Family members of addicts witness to the destruction are part of the process. Types of addiction range from everyday drugs like alcohol and cocaine to behaviors like gambling and stealing. Some types of addictions are specified in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, while others are more controversial and have been identified by some addiction professionals. The types of addiction seen with the drug use are defined in the DSM-5, but it uses the term substance abuse and substance dependency. Neither equates to addiction directly, but rather refers to harmful use of substances. Addiction is both psychological and behavioral. 
Addictions are so characterized by craving, compulsion, and inability to stop using the drug, and lifestyle dysfunction use due to drug use. Behavioral addictions are those not involving a substance. This type of addiction can be an impulse control disorder as defined in the DSM 4 TR, or an addiction identified by an addiction professional. Behavioral addictions outside of the DSM 5 are controversial and many do not feel they meet the requirement of being an official addiction. When talking about drugs that can be abused, there are about seven different types of groups of substances. These are nicotine, sedatives such as alcohol, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, and inhalants such as fumes from glue, opiates such as heroin and morphine, psychostimulants such as cocaine, amphetamine, and methamphetamine, marijuana, hallucinations, and hallucinogens, and caffeine. Prescription drugs they are, that are abused comprise many of the previous classes are club drugs, which includes GSB, GHB, also known as GOP, ketamine, also known as K, MDMA, also known as E, Rogif, Rogipnol, also known as Rufis, cocaine, which is also known as nose candy, C, Blow, Track, another form of cocaine, and also known as Free Base, Rooster, and Tornado, hallucinations, hallucinogens, which includes LSD. Mescaline, cactus, psilobin, psilocybin, Mexican mushrooms, heroin, also known as big H, China white and smack, inhalants which include air blast, huffing, moon gas, marijuana, meta, petamine, also known as crank, ice and stout top, prescription drugs which include methaqualone, also known as lutes, oxycontin, also known as hillbilly heroin, heroin, Retailing, also known as vitamin R, steroids, also known as juice, pumpers, and weight trainers. There are also other drugs that are therapeutic, cure diseases, and are employed by doctors to treat specific maladies. These later substances are referred to herein as medications. Drugs of abuse can also have legitimate uses in medicine and be medications. Cocaine is a powerful vas vaso constrictor in that it closes up blood vessels and can be used to reduce bleeding in surgery. Amphetamine is a stimulant and can be used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD shortly. Opiates are indispensable in the treatment of pain, but they can cause addiction nonetheless. Dependence on how and why they are used, many of the substances can be both drugs and medications. Prescription med medicines are another example of this. They are medications that can be abused and therefore are also drugs. List of addictions to substances as I told before. Summary, alcohol, tobacco, opioids like heroin, prescription drugs, sedatives, hypnotics or axiolytics like sleeping pills and trans tranquilizers, cocaine, cannabis, marijuana, amphetamines like um, methamphetamines known as meth, hallucination, hallucination no gens, inhalants, fence, cyclidine known as PCP or angel dust and other unspecified substances. List of impulse control disorders, the DSM-5 list includes where impulses cannot be resisted which could be considered a type of addiction. The following is a list of the recognized impulse control disorders, intermittent explosive disorder, compulsive, aggressive and assaultive acts, Kleptomania, compulsive stealing, pyromania, a compulsive st setting of fires and gambling. List of addictions, behavioral, food, eating, sex, pornography, attaining, viewing, using computers, the internet, playing video games, working, exercising, spiritual obsession, as opposed to religious devotion, it's to the extreme, pain, seeking, cutting and shopping. Besides, other addictions are attributed to smartphones, money and power, Materialistic possessions, possessions like property, jewelry, expensive and exotic products like uh, automobiles, watches, rare paintings, and footwear. Social networking is also an addiction. This is due to the intrinsic quality of all human beings to be the center of attraction or uh, be in the limelight. People take drugs for many reasons. They can produce a so called rush of pleasurable sensations which is dramatic and memorable experience. Sometimes drugs are taken because of peer pressure or stress. 
Related to the latter, drugs are sometimes used to self-medicate unpleasant feelings such as pain, anxiety or depression. When addicted, users may take drugs to avoid the negative symptoms of withdrawal. Withdrawal is a series of disturbing feeling, distressing feelings and physiologic reactions that occur when drug taking is stopped. The drug experience usually fits a pattern among users. The first use of a drug, a critical recurrence, is often influenced by very various factors that include curiosity, friends who may apply pressure or to try a drug, availability of a drug, or even a permissive room where parents and siblings are users. Reactions to a drug can, can vary among individuals. Some people enjoy them and some don't. Perhaps someone begins taking a medication for a medical problem such as pain and then continues using it forever. The next phase is persistent drug use in which other there is more individual initiative and drive to find and take drugs. This can result in problems such as chronic intoxication, missing work or school and perhaps stealing. There might be other missed obligations, arrest or irresponsible behavior such as unprotected sex. If drug taking continues, a state of addiction can result. Also, more and more of a drug may be taken to get the same effect on others, so efforts to stop drug use may fail. Other drug-related problems can occur in life and good health can be threatened. Although some people can stop using drugs, others drift in and out of drug use for decades or for a lifetime. Someone might someday find that his or her life is gone, wasted by a brain disorder that he or she failed to understand and cope with. Some drug abusers are lucky, they can quit by themselves or find a family member, friend or counsellor who can help them stop. They might get into treatment on their own or they may be forced into treatment by a judge. However, it happens a treatment is effective even for people forced into it. Sadly, Because of ignorance, poverty, denial, or fear of the stigma of being labeled as addict, some never find treatment. Drug abuse as well as de-addiction is very expensive. Drug rehabilitation is a process of medical uh, psychotherapeutic treatment for dependency on psychoactive substances such as alcohol, prescription drugs, and street drugs such as cannabis, cocaine, heroin, and amphetamines. The general intent is to enable the patient to confront substance dependence if present and cease substance abuse to avoid the psychological, legal, financial, social and physical consequences that can be caused, especially by extreme abuse. Treatment includes medication for depression or other disorders, counseling by experts and sharing of experience with other addicts. Psychological dependency is addressed in many drug rehabilitation programs by attempting to teach the person new methods of interacting in a drug-free environment. In particular, patients are generally encouraged or possibly even required to not associate with the peers who still use the addictive substances. The brain's chemical structure is impacted by drugs of abuse and these changes are present long after an individual stops using. This change in brain structure increases the risk of relapse, making treatment an important part of the rehabilitation process. Nowadays, there are de-addiction centers for all kinds of addictions. besides alcohol and substance abuse. Psychological counseling, meditation and yoga are also tried out to rehabilitate addicts. Family support is absolutely essential for rehabilitation. There is nothing compatible to true love and affection. One can recover from psychological addiction through counseling, family support, healthy food, meditation, etc. Physical addiction like alcohol, narcotics develops as a body need since it has an adverse impact on the brain turning human being as an animal on such addicts to go to any extent, even murder, suicide, hurting themselves to get the dosage their body craves for. Rehabilitation of addicts, having some kind of physical addiction, addiction is very hard and takes a lot of time and effort besides expenses too. There are various theories of addiction, neuroscientific, psychological, behavioral, social, cultural. Generally, people start these activities during social interactions with their friends, whether it is smoking, drinking, drugs, etc., to get the acceptance of that society. Some others start these acts under the myth that these acts will enable them to be free of depression, be happy, the high feeling they get, etc. Later, they are stuck to it and become dependent on it. Some youngsters get addicted involuntarily without their consent, by some others lacing the eatables or drinks with narcotics and sometimes forced to. All these substances affect the affect the brain directly. Some addicts are totally disconnected from the real world 
and live in a virtual world of their own like lunatics since they lose their sanity. So overall physical addiction has to be curtailed at an early stage. Once they are in close contact with such people can make out the symptoms, especially social isolation, a vacant look, bulging of eyeballs, pupa, redness of the eyes, loss of appetite, not maintaining personal hygiene, carefree attitude, devoid of attachment to other family members, etc. Prevention is better than cure, hence weed out such unwanted habits in its infancy, else you will repent it forever in your life. Rehabilitation is possible, but as I mentioned before, it is expensive, takes a lot of time and effort. Now, all of you will concur with me that all of us are addicts in one way or other, right? If you differ, let me know whatever it is, but of course, substantiate it with the hard facts and figures, anytime. I am all ears. Whatever I have stated are based on my personal experiences so far in my life. I know debates, discussions on topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me call it a day. We will meet again real soon. Rest in peace and harmony. As I have mentioned so many times, always watch these videos with the closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension. I know I rushed through to complete the presentation within 20 minutes max. This is the time limit I had set myself to re retain the viewer's attention. Am I right guys? I know nowadays I exceed this time limit since I make honest attempts to cover the selected topic more elaborately including so many intricate details referring a wide variety of sources in particular Wikipedia extensively besides articles and published books published recently. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distance distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God alone can put a stop to natural, unnatural, maybe bio war, cyber war events like pandemics which may lead to apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on here on earth all the best